Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Today's video is going to be a quick how I style my hair tutorial. I get a lot of requests on my Instagram and in my videos on doing a hair tutorial. So this is my kind of go-to hair look if I'm going to do anything with my hair. It's really easy, I'm not a hairstylist. This is just quick and simple what I do for kind of like my short-ish hair. It's not super short, but it's short. So if you wanna see how I do my hair, then just keep on watching. Starting off, I have clean hair from the night before. I typically wash my hair at night and then just let it air dry. I'm spraying in a heat protector and detangler and leave-in conditioner. You can use whatever works for you. I'm just using this one currently. And then I'm using my tangle teaser to comb out my hair and really make sure there's no tangles or anything that might snag on the iron. So I'll have all the products linked in the description box as well, but you can really probably find this stuff in your house or at your local drugstore. I'm taking up my hair halfway like a little bit more than halfway and leaving those little um, back ends of my hair it's like the bane of my existence because it is the hardest thing to curl especially if you have really stick straight Asian hair but it's not stick straight because it does a weird like wave I'm using the T3 single pass flat iron I really like this one because of the fact it doesn't snag or catch on my hair so this is perfect for curling your hair like this and I just take little sections and I start from the top and I just twist and pull down or curl like a typical iron but I leave the ends out and that gives me that like messy wave look and with the bottom section of my hair I don't really worry about it looking that great I switch between like going away and going towards my face with the curls so you just want to switch alternate so that the textures stand out from each other and it doesn't become just this one curl and again you're just doing this for texture so it doesn't stick straight underneath the rest of your hair then I'm pulling down maybe another third of my hair, a little less than my third, and I start doing it again. And still, I'm not that concerned about how these curls look. I just want to make sure it's adding volume, texture, and leaving the ends out. Leaving the ends out is really key for my hairstyle, and I also am not that careful about sectioning off my hair. Whatever comes out, comes out, and I think that helps with the kind of messy, wavy, beachy look I typically have. And again, alternating your curls. Now around my face is where I'm very very careful and I want to make sure my curls look its best So I want to make sure there's no tangles. It's really smooth And then I like to curl away from my face now because I have so much color in my hair It really does help hold a curl especially around my face and then I just keep going So I'm trying to show you the back, and again, I'm not a hairstylist. I don't do hair that often. This is just, like, if I'm gonna do my hair, this is what I do. And I am just doing alternating sections, grabbing whichever pieces aren't curled, and alternating my curls. This one's kinda like going towards my scalp, and then the next one will be kinda going um, away, or yeah. And I, again, make sure you leave the ends out. And then as I get to the crown of my head, I want to make sure I keep my part, like where I want my hair to part. That's how I'm going to curl. And I left a lot of this footage in because I think it's better to watch it versus me try to explain it to you. So I hope this helps you guys with it, like being in real time right now. I try to just be very messy because that's kind of how I am with things, but at the same time, cleaner around my face to really frame my face and it gives it that dimension and that difference between like the messy and the frames and I, I have to be completely honest my hairstylist has who I talked about in my favorite beauty treatments she really did an amazing job with my haircut and color so I can't really go wrong and I'm just doing the final touch-ups and after I curl everything, I kind of just look. If there's any pieces, I'll go back in. If not, if there's some that's super curled, I'll kind of flatten it a little bit with the iron. And I just look at myself. And then I use a texturizing hairspray. This one is from Way or We. Am I saying it wrong? I always forget how to say this. I spray this all over. You don't want a hairspray. You want something that's texturizing that will help hold it, but also give it that messy texture, 
especially if you have Asian hair like mine or even Colombian hair or Cuban hair. I feel like our hair is very similar. And that's my finished look. Don't forget that I am uploading five days a week, Sunday through Thursdays at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I'll see you guys back here five days a week. I hope you guys enjoyed today's hair tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you're new to my channel, the reason it's called Dress Yourself Happy is because I truly hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm able to be a little bit more confident and deal with whatever it is I have to deal with in my life. So I hope that speaks to you and I hope my videos help you with that. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of your your day. Bye!